Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Y'all, I'm trying my best to give you guys some type of cooking recipes or cooking videos, not necessarily cooking videos. I think I've shared before that we are really such I was gonna say boring eaters. I guess we are kind of boring. But we're such simple eaters that it's gonna be either some chicken, hamburger, beef, some pork. I mean, we're not big seafood eaters. We do the flounder and that simple fish. We don't do shrimp. We're just simple, so I'm struggling trying to give you guys some other cooking recipes. Now one of our YouTube family members did reach out and ask me about doing chicken pot pie. Now see, we can do that one, that's easy. <laughs> Cause my dude, number one, AKA my husband, he loves chicken pot pie. So that's what we're gonna do today. And the funny thing about it is that I'm sure I probably never do it the same when I do it because I don't cook with uh, I don't cook with recipes. Wait a minute, you guys are down too low. I don't use recipes. I just cook, you know. Don't do a whole lot of measuring when I'm just kind of winging it. And when I do measure, it's because I'm trying to give you guys some measurements, okay? Because, honey, I don't be doing all this measuring unless I'm baking a cake. Now, you better measure when you're making a cake. So what I'm doing now, I'm grating up some sharp cheddar and some Kobe Jack, okay? Just in the mood to add a little bit of cheese to the pot pie today. Make it kind of creamy cheesy. Um, let's see, I have my pot here. I'm gonna start with, this is about four cups of water. While I am running my mouth, I'm going to go on and get this turned on, okay? And I'm going to turn it on kind of high so I can go on and get it hot. So, turn that on. So, that's about four cups of water. And I'll be using some frozen mixed vegetables. Now, let me tell you something else. Um, yeah, I just, I don't cook like I used to cook for the most part with my life, I need something quick and easy. So when I do give you guys recipes, I'm trying to make it quick and easy. When I do a lot of that long cooking or cooking that takes a lot of hours, it's usually for the holidays. Any other time, honey, I'm trying to get in and get out, okay? So hopefully you guys will appreciate some quick recipes, but you can also um, make the adjustment on your end. For example, Frozen vegetables, if you want to use fresh vegetables, by all means, you can do that. Even with my chicken today, I'm going to use this grilled and ready chicken breast strips by Tyson. It's just what I want to use today. I've also used the rotisserie chicken. Didn't have any rotisserie chicken today, so this is what we're going to use. They also have it in the cube. They have it shredded. If you want to bake you some chicken to do this, that is perfectly fine. So, you know... It's whatever you like. I'll also be adding some cream of chicken and cream of celery. Soup, again, you can always add if you want to do cream of mushroom. You know, it's just whatever you like. That's one thing I like about, you know, a lot of recipes. Make it your own. You can, it doesn't make it wrong because this is the way I do it. If you don't like it this way, then by all means change what you can change what you can but still make sure it tastes good because if it don't taste good um, you, you are messed up all right i'll also be using some better than bouillon i like the roasted chicken base this one is almost gone so i have this one and this is going to be the base for my um pot pie the the broth i don't like the broth in the box to me it just doesn't have enough flavor just don't like it it's bland so what you're gonna do with your chicken broth if you're using this better than bouillon 
put enough in there where you can kind of taste it. So that means that you're going to, once, once this gets hot, you're going to have to um, taste your broth to make sure you can taste it, okay? And you can, you know, kind of be careful because this, this is concentrated. So if you put too much in there, then you're going to make it salty. And we don't want it too salty. I need some more, I'm sure. But of course, I have, in the meantime, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Because that's just nasty. You all already know with those cans I just showed you, I have also washed off my cans. Y'all wash off your cans when you bring them home from the grocery store because they filthy nasty too. Being on them tractor trailer trucks and in the warehouses and in the grocery stores and them little rodents and insects and bugs been licking all on them cans and people have been putting their nasty hands on them. Y'all wash those cans off, okay? Then I'll be using these pie crusts, um, Pillsbury. You could also use like the, the deep dish pie crust that you use for a pie. You can use those as well. My mom used to use these a lot, so I prefer to use these. Let's see, if you don't want cheese, you don't have to add any cheese. Is that it? I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put it in my nine by 13 casserole dish. This is my butter wrapper that I had. Um, I'm just rubbing, I'm greasing my casserole dish, y'all. I be trying to get out of my butter. <laughs> in my casserole dish and then I have a little bit of flour because I'm gonna add I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of flour because that's gonna help kind of thicken it up some and make it like um, give me that gravy so it won't be so runny and watery all right okay so what I need to do first is I'm gonna put my mixed vegetables in here now, they're pretty much, are these vegetables, these vegetables are going to have to cook longer than anything else. So I was getting ready to say they're done, but they, they need to cook longer than, in, than anything else. This is a 12 ounce bag. And y'all, I already know that this is going to be too much for this casserole dish, but I'm getting two meals in one. I told y'all I have to make my life simple when I can. So once I get everything done, then what I don't use, I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag, the pie, pie filling. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag after it cools, and then I'll put it in the freezer. And then with my do number one, one chicken pot pie again, the filling is already done. All I have to do is take it out, let it unthaw, fill the um, pie crust, Listen, and we're good to go, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to taste, I'm going to taste this um, broth to see if I need to add some more seasoning. When I do, my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. That's what was, uh, that's that beeping. So my oven is ready. I need a little bit more of this broth, better than bouillon in my broth. And if for some reason you realize once you get to going that you've made it a little too salty, put you some more water in it, okay? So if this better than bouillon, I know I, I used at least a good tablespoon, between maybe one to two tablespoons. Like I said, if you get it too salty, then add you some more, add you some water to it, okay? All right. Now, when I get ready to add my chicken to this, you guys, I like to, I don't like a skimpy pot pie. Nor does my do number one. Don't like for it to be skimpy. So I need to make sure that I have enough chicken in here. And I also like to make sure I can taste the chicken. 
I want just a, a, a mouthful of vegetables and trying to figure out where the chicken is, all right? Let me show you how this, how this chicken looks. And I will eventually bring you guys Close to tell me, but honey, ain't nothing going on. That water over here trying to get hot for those vegetables in it, okay? But this is how the chicken looks. And it really is good. I use this sometimes on um, like a salad or I'll just eat it by itself. And you can see that it's seasoned. Y'all see those seasonings in that meat? So it really is good. Oh, y'all, I forgot. Look. See, this is what I'm talking about. Leftovers. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm also going to add, we have some leftover rice in the refrigerator. Look, it already has some of that cream of chicken on it. Um, I'm getting ready to put all of this. Look at that. This is that season. I'm going to show you... Um, this is going to make it taste good too because that rice is seasoned. You can do the plain rice. You now, if you were just to fix some rice, you can absolutely do that. But, honey, we need to use this out the refrigerator. So, in it goes. And then that's going to keep me from having to make a side of rice for his pot pie. Ain't that alright? Okay. Okay, so now we're waiting on this to get hot. I'm going to go in and add my chicken. And some of the pieces are kind of large, so we're going to cut them up just a little bit if, we, if I feel like I need to. take this long at all because you know it's just really heating up those vegetables the rice is done so it's not like we're trying to recook it okay now again this is the time too if you wanted to add some different seasonings now is the perfect time for you to do that Whatever you like to season your chicken with. But like I said, I'm trying to keep this really simple. And because these chicken breast strips are already seasoned, um, I'm not going to add anything else to them. Okay. I've also pulled out my heavy whipping cream. I'm going to use just a little bit of that too to make it creamy. Let me see if I have a... Uh, let me show you. This is the kind of rice we had rice um i think he had it yesterday so this is the kind of rice that i put in there and it too is seasoned so there's no need for me to add a whole lot of extra seasonings okay this is going to be quick simple and easy we're not trying to make a pot pie from scratch today so while that's getting warm let's see i'm gonna Cover it a little bit and turn it down a little bit, maybe about on seven. Now, if you do not like a lot of crust, you don't have to add crust to the bottom and the top. We like a lot of crust, so we, we need it on the bottom and the top, okay? But you don't have to do that. You can just put it on the top, okay? I'm not even going to take my rolling pin and roll this out. I'm just going to use my hands and just stretch it, okay? If 
I end up tearing it. If you get a few holes in it, it is perfectly fine. So now this is where the flour comes in. I'm going to use my flour. This is just some all-purpose flour. We're just going to sprinkle some on the bottom. And again, what that's going to do is going to help this pot pie, the filling, to kind of thicken up. So it will be like gravy-like. That may have been maybe about uh, maybe two tablespoons. Okay. So we'll set this aside. Let's see what this is doing. guys can tell that's going to be too much for this casserole dish. Okay. Let's see. Let me taste um, let me taste this broth again to make sure that we're make sure we're good. trying to get some without the vegetables. That's good. I can taste the flavor of the chicken and the rice. That's good. And then we get ready to give it more flavor. This is our cream of celery. You guys, it is so important that you are clean and mindful of what you're doing when you're cooking. I just picked this up. I was getting ready to get the rest of this out and I realized that I had laid it on the top of this box. Y'all this box nasty too. It's been in the grocery store. People had their nasty hands all over it so I had to go back and wash my little spatula before I used it again. So y'all be mindful. Be mindful of stuff like that when you cook. Honey don't be a nasty cook. Just, just don't. Okay. Chucky, now for the cream of chicken. And I'm gonna turn this burner off because we're not it's it's we're not trying to cook anything. We just wanted to get it really hot. Let those vegetables cook just a few minutes because it's going to cook more as it bakes. And when you bake it, I'm only baking it long enough to get my crust brown. Right? That's how we do it. Cream of chicken and cream of celery. It's going to give it more flavor. And we do like to have that gravy and that creaminess to it. Um, I do not like a dry pot pie. No, ma'am. No, sir. Okay. Let's see. We're going to add maybe about... Ooh. Ooh, y'all. Look at my measuring cup. 
maybe about a, maybe about a fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now the only other thing I do want to add is a little bit of pepper. Okay. I'm going to add me just a little bit more. A little bit more pepper. That's it. That's it. And now it's time we're going to start adding it to our casserole dish and I don't want to pour it because I don't want to make a mess so we're just gonna dip it in there gonna scoop and add it to our dish chicken if I would had some extra uh, green beans in the refrigerator I would have thrown those in here too sure would have let me go hunk a chicken Okay, now I want just a little bit more of the, the gravy. Again, this is not necessary. You don't have to add cheese if you don't want any, want any cheese. But we're doing cheese today. And now it's time to add our crust on top. This one as much as I did the other one. See. Trying to pull on it just a little bit. And it's not gonna cover come all the way um to the corners, but that's okay. That's okay. Just poked a hole in it at the top. Bunch of a few little holes. Butter here that's soft. Just gonna rub some butter on the top of that. So that crust will be pretty and golden brown. That's 
see it. So now we're going in. Four hundred degrees. Let me set my timer for about maybe about thirty minutes. And I may end up having to turn it down, but I'll give you all that information. I'll let you know how long it cooked, if I turned it down, what temperature I turned it down to once it's done and I'm taking it out. So we're going to set the timer for 30 minutes for right now. Okay. We baked the first 20 minutes on 400 make the first 20 minutes on 400 degrees and then I turn the temperature down to 350 degrees and we baked another 25 minutes again you want to bake long enough to get your crust a golden brown Now, I've let the pot pie rest for about 10 minutes. I didn't want to take it out and just immediately dig into it. But now it is time. See how creamy that is. Get some of my crust that's trying to stick to the bottom a little bit. Say his grace so when you get ready to taste the food. Yeah, and then you chew it while you say your grace. I'm gonna so see my face talking to God chewing like to do two things at one time. What's the point? Flat on the You're not gonna share it? Babe. He looking at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Papa to share. You take them little bitty eyes and look at somebody else. I ain't sharing. No, tell him. Hmm? They say they've, they've already Papa. seen it. No, tell him. He's not, Papa, not sharing. No. Here you go, man. Want some chicken? You want Nana to get you? He puts it in his mouth. Papa is wrong. That's good. Yeah. No, Nana, give you some. Come on. Nana, give you some. Say, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Nana gonna share. Papa won't share. So won't. So won't not. Say, Nana gave me some. So won't not. No, so won't get none of mine. Mine better. No, it's not. I'm gonna take some home. And see what he will do, he will also fix more um cream chicken. Cream chicken to, to put some more gravy on it. Because after it sits, it Ooh, does kind of soak singing. it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got rice in it? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Your rice from last night, I put it in there. Why did you take my rice? Because we'll make sure we you go eat it. Now? Make I sure. Like I don't like to mix my rice with my, my chicken pot. Man, please. We can't tell because I play halfway gone. <laughs> 
Say please. Let me taste. You gave him. Okay, here, babe. I'm gonna share with you always. Come on. Let me. Let me. Papa, you greedy. Yeah, you greedy. We gonna share with y'all too. Y'all open your mouth, okay? I ain't giving him nothing. I don't wanna get him nothing, though. I don't want to get him nothing. Nice, Donna, I don't want to get him nothing. You trying to say it and cover your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you see what you're trying to say? Open your mouth. You get it? She said, her grace with her mouth open. Look at her. She's not chewing. Well, Donna, what's chewing. the difference? I can, I'm calling it. You were chewing. Look at you. You, you want to take some, home? You got it on your chest. I don't want your plate. I'm just saying, I ain't saying All right, you guys. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And hit the notice. Let's that turn on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we're doing whatever it is we're doing. It's a big piece of chicken. What you That's right. About? We like that. We like you. Where know, you I, don't, I don't like no little skimpy chicken. Baby, where are we going to put some? So Jax can take some home. Yeah. Don't put it in this. I don't, want to give I don't like it that much. You ain't going to eat all that by yourself. <laughs> Okay, man. I like you. That, that was nice, wasn't <laughs> I love you, little man. Ooh, oh, you're busting it, Papa. I got it. Okay, well, you okay, have to be man. nice. You can't be okay. busting it, Papa, like that, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. So, thank you guys so much for Put watching. Your your <laughs> we already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>